Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. In this video we're going to go over how to import your baked maps um, like your normals and whatnot um, into Instamat Studio uh, from when you bake them in other software. So let's say you've baked out your normals and your AO and your curvature and everything in Marmoset or some other software substance, Blender, whatever, um, for whatever reason, um, and you want to import them into Instamat Studio. Okay, so in your project, what you'll do initially, I'll just come over to this one. This doesn't have any textures applied. So first of all, actually back in Marmoset, first of all in your bake project and whatever software you're using, make sure that the output is set to something like PNG or Targa uh, because Instamat um, I'm told does not currently support PSD so that's uh, the first error. Now you can see here I've got all these janky normals from my low poly model um, and down here and stuff like that so I want to really import my normal maps. So what you need to do is find your all your baked textures. Okay, so I've got them over here. Um, and then up here you go from uh, this to this. Okay, so uh, package management as opposed to layering project. And then you can just drag all of your, I'm not going to do it because I've already brought them into my um, project, but you can drag them all here, okay, um, and another thing to note is back over here is that ambient occlusion isn't always turned on by default, so we turn that on, okay, and then we can like find our normal, so I know this one is called uh, main uh, body, so we'll find our main body normal. And actually we'll go and look at this part here while we do it. So we go uh, tangent normal uh, body and that should apply. That should have applied. Oh, I put it on the wrong thing. So we've got to actually find our right mesh. So the main body. Um, there we go. The normal is applied. Okay, I was doing that one for the buttons, so um, we can do that for the buttons as well. Um, where is it? Normal tangent buttons. And that should have applied. Maybe we need to actually look at our buttons. Yeah, it doesn't update, doesn't always give straight away feedback. So now we've got a texture on that, it should apply, so we can, um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit fiddly and it doesn't always give you feedback when you, when you think it's going to, so see, now the normal's been applied to those buttons, including all of these and whatnot, and it's really cool, I'm enjoying using Instamat, um, so for example we can also add our um, buttons AO, um, to this and it should update yep there we go it's updated and we can do that to our main body as well um, body AO and obviously you have to bring all your maps in. I don't know if there's a way of automating it as yet did that work out oh it's because we're not on the body so we go body AO and then we've got to change back over to main body and there it's updated so it doesn't always give the instant feedback like some other softwares do but in saying that there's heaps of cool features like um, let's do our let's quickly do our speakers okay so um, we'll change over to speakers I should have made this a UDIM uh, project but I didn't for a specific reason um, so let's give this a material um, on the speakers, okay, and then let's give it a, we can go over to our material library, 
Okay, and we can uh, bring in some, I don't know, some yellow denim. Okay, and we can put that on top. So I've shown you how to do this, and then um, you can do, you can like add a um, uh, mesh mask, and then you come down to mesh mask and you choose, uh, oh here, you choose this uh, mesh polygon mask. Okay, and as you pull this around, okay, you can press W to change it, and R to change the scale. Okay, and then we can pull this out and we've just got that on that for example so we've got this kind of fabric on here um, really easy to use this anyway it's a cool little software um, still getting used to it um, I, I you know I went through the other the sort of substance designer equivalent part of it recently and really enjoyed that um, I'm still getting to grips with this but it's, it's pretty cool. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Tschüss.